Hi, I'm Rihanna Sally Hartman and I'm Dublin City Council's musician in residence. So part of being a musician in residence is putting on events, workshops, performances. But another side of it is writing new music specifically for the residency and trying as best I can to share um, that music making process. So today I've made a short video um, showing snippets of melody and lyrics and my thoughts behind a new song that I'm writing for the residency and when it's finished I'll be performing it at the Festival of History. So let's get into it. So I am writing a song for the Festival of History and 2018 it is the centenary of when the first women got the vote in Ireland. Um, so I chose that as the broad subject, something to do with the suffragette movement in Ireland. Um, my first port of call, since I don't know much about it, was to meet with the historian in residence, Mary Muldowney. And she gave me loads of information. And one of the things she told me to look up was this book right here, Richmond Barracks, 1916. 77 women of the Easter Rising. I tried to uh, suspend expectation at the start and not try and have an idea of what kind of song I want to write and just start researching and see what happens. So that's what I did. I just started reading biographies. Um, and what I was looking for was just something that jumped out and inspired me. Um, I tried not to think about why it inspired me or how it would lead to a song. So the first thing that stood out to me was this biography of Helena Maloney. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right because I am a musician, not a historian, so I could be wrong there. Um, and what stood out to me was this quote of her describing um, seeing Maud Gon speak for the first time. And she said, I was a young girl dreaming about Ireland when I saw and heard Maud Gon speaking by the Custom House in Dublin one August evening in 1903. She electrified me and filled me with some spirit of her own. Um, there's also another thing in here, a description of um, the paper, the newspaper that Helena Maloney was editor of called Ban Na Heron. And the description is a funny hodgepodge of blood and thunder, high thinking and homemade bread. So I started playing with those quotes. I haven't figured it all out yet, but a lot of it is up in the air. It's kind of a vague sketch of an idea of where I'm going with it. I was just a young girl Dreaming when I saw her I was just a young girl Dreaming of Ireland when I saw her In a country full of young girls Baking bread and fueling thunder And her words 
So it's tricky. Showing the process as you go along at this stage is a little tricky. I don't really know how the song is going to go. Some dead ends are kind of to be expected. So this isn't going to be like a um, tutorial how to write the perfect song or anything. It's more of a an honest uh, insight into my process, which might be different from anyone else's process. Uh, at this stage, I'm kind of just fumbling in the dark for what sounds good. A little later in the process, it becomes more analytical. But right now, I'm not really analysing what I'm doing. I'm just playing around with it and seeing what happens. What I'm thinking at the moment is that the song is going to be from the point of view of Helena Maloney. Um, but the kind of wider context of the song, the idea of the song, is going to be um, the power of words or maybe the arts to inspire people to action. Some kind of connection between her going to see Maud Gone speak and being inspired by that and then her being this editor of the newspaper and being an actor using her words in different ways to inspire other people and um, initiate change. So I think that's going to be kind of the heart of what the song is going to be about is the power of words to um, inspire change in society. So that's what I've got so far for this song. Um, I'll be doing more updates as I go along on this song and also other songs that I'll be writing as part of the residency. Keep an eye on the website. I'll include a link at the end of this video. Um, if you want to find out more about any of the workshops or performances or events and hopefully see you at one of them.